So we're here at the EFA show at Qualcomm's press briefing. I'm Jim Merrick. What we're showing is a new reference design for virtual reality from Qualcomm. This is what we call the VR820 reference design. Just like it sounds like, it's based on the Snapdragon 820 processor. It's a very popular processor in many of today's flagship smartphones. And we've put it together into a special VR headset. And we call it a reference design because this is not designed to be a consumer product. This is a product for our hardware customers and for software developers to use to create new VR products, both hardware and software. So this device features everything all in one. It's a standalone device. It's not using your smartphone. It's not connected to your PC. Everything is inside of the hardware. And when we look at, you can see here, two screens inside. It has a 2K screen, so that's 1,440 pixels for each eye in X and Y dimension. So it gives you a very high resolution screen. You can also see here a little camera. There's actually two cameras there that track the movement of your eyes. So they see what you are looking at within, even before you turn your head. So inside out motion tracking. There's also two cameras on the outside. One is used to detect which way the device is moving. If I walk forward in the real world, then I step forward in the virtual world because it knows where I am in the real world. The other camera is used for look-through applications or uh, mixed reality applications where I might want to see my hands in front of me or I want to do augmented reality and use the image from the real world and overlay graphics on top of it. There's also a control button on the side and a touchpad on this side, as well as four microphones for uh, echo cancellation. So it might, my virtual reality experience might be a social virtual reality experience. In addition, of course, it supports full positional audio. So not just surround sound, but positional audio, which means as I turn my head around, the sound still emanates from the correct place, like the speakers here that are very loud in this recording, I'm guessing. Uh, a few other features about it. I, I mentioned the uh, ability to track what we call six degrees of freedom. Six degrees of freedom is a very important feature. In some other virtual reality headsets, you have lighthouses or beacons, devices that you have to place in the room so that the headset knows where it is. This one does it all by itself. So it's looking through one camera and keeping track of where it is in the world all the time. Some information about the VR the Snapdragon uh, 820 processor is Qualcomm's top of the line Snapdragon processor. You find it in things like the Gear, uh, or the Snapdragon uh, Samsung S7, the Galaxy S7, the new Gear device that just came out, the Note, excuse me. Uh, the, uh, it has dual core processors. It's running at 2.4 gigahertz. It has our best graphics processor, the Adreno 530. So that's about 40% faster graphics performance than the previous Snapdragon processor. Also includes an integrated DSP or digital signal processor. The digital signal processor is actually key to the motion tracking. What I said, there's six degrees of freedom. The digital signal processor is taking the image from the camera and calculating combined with movements from accelerometers and providing that information without using any of the CPU resources, without using any of the GPU resources. So 100% of the power of the Snapdragon 820 is available for a gaming application or for your virtual reality application. So as a reference design, this is available starting in the fourth quarter of this year, so before the end of this year. But what you might see as a consumer might be something that looks nothing like this, because a reference design could take the form of just the schematics and a bill of materials, might take somebody who take this almost in its entirety and produce a product. You'll see software that's developed using this that might come out on this product or some other product in the future. So what we're trying to do is really stimulate the ecosystem to accelerate the development of virtual reality experiences in a product like this can help. This too will evolve over time. We'll be doing newer versions of it with additional features, additional processors over time.